everybody, welcome to video number 72. This is going to be part two of seafloor spreading. The crack at the crust. That hot magma is able to come up. Remember our synchronized swimming? It's coming up. Why is it coming up? Remember, it's, it's the heat coming from the core is heating up these rocks at the bottom of the mantle. Those hot rocks are going to want to rise through convection currents. The hot rocks come up to the top. They are brand new rocks that are formed at the top. They cool down right away as they hit the as right. they hit the top. Okay. Then again, once it's cooled down, we start to push away, and more heat is rising. And those rocks are rising up, and I'm new, coming up right after you. Here new we go. baby rocks there are forming and pushing away the older rocks. New oceanic crust is formed at that ridge, and the older stuff gets slowly, slowly pushed away. Very good. We don't mind if you do the dance, just like we are. It's so a synchronized swimming, as Miss right. Thomas says. You go. When a large continent splits apart, the separate pieces travel away from each other, pushed by the creation of new land at the ridge between plates. All right. So what you're watching here is seafloor spreading, and in this case, they're using ocean floor spreading. And what you're noticing is that hot magma that's coming up from uh, down in the mantle. It is rising up through the mid-ocean ridge and you are seeing new, what I like to call baby rocks or oceanic crust is being formed and spreading out. So the mid-Atlantic ridge in Iceland is slowly splitting the island in two at a rate of 3.2 centimeters or 1.2 inches per year, creating the North American plate and the Eurasian plate. This is one of the few countries where a mid-ocean ridge is exposed above sea level. All right, so let's talk about some evidence. And as we said with Wagner, and we're going to ask Hess the same thing, is you need to show us some evidence so that we believe you. So the first one um, that we've kind of alluded to is those young rocks. We're going to talk about the granny rocks. And then we've got magma and lava that was actually seen. And then we're going to talk about some magnetic striping. Okay, so here we go. You want to do the first one? Sure. You know, um, they can actually test the age of rocks, so yep. they literally went and took samples at the ridges and the areas further away from the ridge. They noticed that the ones at the ridge were younger than those rocks that were further away. That's right. And the rocks that are further away, we like to call them granny rocks. Baby granny. There you go. See, it works. Not the granny that got... Mm. No, not no, not, not forensic granny. Not that granny. Different granny, granny different granny. Yeah, we, we have granny issues. Okay. So the second thing is the magma and lava is the evidence. What you actually see here is a submarine called the Alvin. And these guys actually dive down and watch the magma and lava cooling right at the mid-ocean ridge. Field trip? Field trip. Yeah, that would be awesome, huh? That would be so cool. And the last piece of evidence that we have here is something called the magnetic striping. So think back to your outer core, okay? Your outer core is made up of what? Iron, okay? When you make new oceanic crust, it's going to have some kinds of iron in it. Mm. And what happens is because of that magnetic field that's created, those iron will actually line up on a certain side. Okay, and then it'll actually look like a pattern, and that's what we're showing you here in these two things. This is called like sort of like the magnetic memory of the Earth. Now we're going to blow your marbles. Ready? We're going to blow the marbles. I'm ready. Those poles, your north and south pole, reverse. Excuse me? Yep, they reverse. So south is north and north is south. So if you had a compass, it would point to south and not north if you were on a reversal. How often does this happen, Mrs. Burke? Uh, luckily, this uh, the last one happened 780 thousand years ago. So you'd have to like change your compass yeah. for yeah. a while, probably yeah. for about 700,000 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, boy, Walmart would have to be... Yeah, they would. Exactly. So this is not something that's going to happen in our lifetime, maybe not even in your lifetime, or even our children's children's lifetime. So it's kind of like how magnets repel yeah. or come together, depending exactly. on yep, exactly. which orientation they are yep. at. So that's Very where they're going to see it literally... Line up. Line that's up. right. And again, we're talking about millions of years, people. This isn't happening in minutes or minutes. All right, so summary time, guys, real quick. Um, we're going to say thank you so much to Mrs. Thomas for being here. You've got your prompts here. Make sure you're bringing them into class. And I can't thank you enough, Ms. Thomas. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll see you guys later.